Good day, Ronald. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here and thank you for your time. Olga, thank you very much for your kind introduction and I'm uh, more than happy to share with you uh, what I'm going to speak about uh, at, the, at, at the conference. And uh, the topic that uh, I will be presenting uh, will be the data-driven strategy to enable the energy transition. And uh, why that is linked to e each other, that's, uh, that's, that's what I'm going to explain in my, in my session. And basically, uh, in my presentation, uh, I'll share lessons learned and use cases uh, uh, from over eight years of trying uh, to actually uh, enable the energy transition with data. Uh, and uh, basically our strategy and also our current setup, uh, how we are now trying to implement the hub and spoke model uh, with a center of excellence of data at the one hand, and at the other hand, different spokes to uh, really have scale in, uh, uh, in let's say, accelerating uh, data throughout our whole company. Uh, and also I will touch upon uh, the, uh, uh, various aspects of, let's say, uh, data-driven strategy. Um, uh, basically the technology, uh, how you can use a consulting kind of setup and an academy, the importance of data literacy in, uh, in, my, uh, uh, in, my, in, my, in my speech. Okay, thank you very much for sharing uh, the idea about your topic. Uh, could you please tell me why do you think it is important to discuss this topic when it comes to big data analytics in power and utility sector? That's a very good question and uh, absolutely I'll, I'll, I'm more ha than, uh, than happy to, uh, to answer that. Uh, basically, what you see in um, this, uh, this, 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 this field of utilities is that with the growing number of renewables, the unsteerability of assets, uh, it, like, like you probably know, if you switch a light on somewhere, the power has to come from. And uh, basically, it happens at an instant. So it's, it's very instantaneous and uh, it's, it's a very careful balance that you have to do. And if the production all of a sudden becomes unsteerable because the wind blows whenever the wind blows or the sun shines whenever the sun shines, um, there is a whole new, new different balancing act that you have to be, uh, be able to manage. So at the one hand, you have the managing of your assets. And at the other hand, you have your customers that are constantly evolving. Uh, the next year, your neighbor is going to put a lot of solar on its roof or maybe getting rid of his gas connection. And what that then in, how that then influences the grid, how that then influences uh, maybe your own decision or maybe doing the very same uh, that's all very much data driven uh, uh, insights that you that you want to obtain as a utility uh, in order to be able to have a constant let's say a balance between all the different changes that's going to happen thank you very much for sharing your thoughts uh, i was also wondering uh, what do you think is the main challenge um, in big data when it comes to uh, this year and next year as well, what do you think? I think is a big challenge, or at least is a big challenge for us at the moment, is uh, uh, basically the maturity that's, that's let's say, starting to, to gain maturity more and more in the field of data. And what you see is that a lot of the, the technologies and a lot of the techniques or, or, or algorithms are being baked more and more into the standard platforms, eh, such as Microsoft Dynamics, uh, et cetera. And uh, the balancing act that I currently uh, um, have difficulties with, or at least uh, we are struggling with as a company, is how to basically make most use of the platforms, but also do not, let's say, uh, 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 that we do not become dependent on the, the, the rollout and the strategies of these big firms. Eh? I mean, Microsoft really likes us a lot, I'm sure, uh, but I'm not sure if we are, uh, let's say, always determining their agenda or what next uh, what will be next in their release. Um, and, and basically, if you're trying to do innovations such as we do, uh, you'll also sometimes need techniques that are basically not yet in the platforms. And basically balancing this part, because yeah, eh, there is a lot of advantages of having things in platforms, of course, um, I find that very difficult. And the same holds also for technology partners that help you to implement uh, uh, these features. Uh, I and more, and, uh, more and more see that um, the niche players that we, uh, that, that we hire deliver far more uh, value uh, than basically the bigger contracts that you, from a big company perspective, uh, uh, would like to hire, eh? to have like a one-stop shop. That, that's, that's, of course, ideal. But in practice, uh, that's not always giving you a very ideal result. I was also curious, in your experience with big data, was there maybe an instance where you got surprised by what you saw? 
Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think there's more than one instance that I was very surprised uh, on, on what I saw. Um, uh, life's full of surprises. <laughs> no, but uh, there, there's a very uh, clear instance uh, uh, where we all were all very surprised, or at least it was a lot different than that we expected. Uh, and it basically came uh, uh, to us when we were developing a solar insight tool for, uh, for customers. And there we were with all our uh, very uh, engineering technical mindsets, uh, uh, hoping to deliver the best uh, set of information to, uh, to our customers, which of course was way too technical. Uh, it was discussing and trying to discuss uh, 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 irradiance in planes of array, and azimuth and all kinds of other very technical terms. Um, and we did our very best to uh, construct a very detailed and very personal uh, and very technical report for our customers. And uh, as I think the story all, already can uh, let it be guessed by itself, uh, the customers didn't understand anything from what we were trying to say. So our customers were thinking that there was something wrong with their solar panels, where actually there wasn't anything wrong and all kinds of other things. So uh, what we got to learn and what we were quite surprised from is uh, uh, also the level of um, detail that you have to reduce if you are going to handle very complex algorithms. So basically what you do is you have the, all the complexity in the world and, and, and leading up to a decision and you're trying to uh, discuss how actually that decision is a very good decision. And that's exactly the thing that you shouldn't do. A red or a green light, that's more than enough for a customer to, uh, to be interfaced with and maybe a drill down after. And uh, I think that was a very uh, interesting insight. And for us, it, it uh, unfortunately came as a surprise. All, of course, all in proof of concept uh, version. So uh, no real harm was done to any customers, I hope. <laughs> okay, great. That's a good insight, though. So, uh, all right, Ronald, thank you very much for sharing the information, the story also with us and looking forward to seeing you at the conference and also to the presentation. Thanks a lot for your time and joining us here today. Thanks, Olga. It was a pleasure.